Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. In today's video, I'll show you how to create estimates in QuickBooks Online, which you can then use to provide quotes and bids to customers for proposed jobs. You'll start by navigating to the estimate section, then creating the estimate. And finally, choosing either to save it as a draft or send it right away. I'll also teach you how to send the estimate and track and change the status. To create a new estimate, click on the plus new button at the top of the left-hand side toolbar, then select estimate in the first column under customers. To create estimates in QuickBooks Online, ensure you're using the newest layout. If you're still seeing the old layout, then click on the update layout option at the upper right-hand corner of the estimate form. Now you can create estimates on the spot using the new layout. In the first half of the form, you need to provide the following information. Customer, select the customer you're sending the estimate to. If this is a new customer, select add new at the top of the customer dropdown list and set up the customer as shown in my guide on setting up customers in QuickBooks Online. When the customer is set up properly, the fields for email, billing address, and shipping should populate automatically. Now for the dates. Enter the date you're creating the estimate, along with the expiration date. You must include an expiration date on your estimate. This helps you avoid problems that may arise when a customer accepts an estimate months later when the cost of materials may have changed. Now let's scroll down and select the product and service. Select the product or service being proposed from the drop-down box. If this is a new product or service, select Add New at the top of the drop-down list and set up the new product or service as explained in my guide on setting up the products and services list in QuickBooks Online. When the product or service is set up properly, the description, rate, tax, and class fields should populate automatically. You may also enter these details manually if needed. You can also add things like preferred payment options. You can specify your preferred payment method, whether that be bank transfers or credit card payments. You'll notice the subtotal. This refers to the estimates amount before discounts or taxes are applied. You'll see a line for discount. Go ahead and add a discount to your estimate if your customer gets one. Sales tax. QuickBooks Online will automatically apply the sales tax rates based on your customer's location, not your business's location, the customer's location. Now you'll see the estimate total. This shows the total amount to be paid by the customer after all discounts and taxes have been applied. And you can leave a note to your customer. You can include a personalized message or a itemized breakdown of what is included in your estimate. You can also preview and see what your estimate will look like in an email or PDF view by clicking on the respective view option next to edit at the top of the estimate creation form. Once you enter and verify all information, click the green review and send button if you want to send the estimate right away or save to save the estimate as a draft. If needed, you may also print and export your estimate by clicking the print and download button. When you opt to click review and send, an email template form will open. This is where you can accept the email defaults or update the details, like the subject and email body if needed. 
Once you're ready to email the estimate, simply click on the green Save Estimate button at the lower left-hand corner of your screen. You will receive a confirmation once your estimate has been sent successfully. When you send the estimate to your customers via email, they can approve or decline it online. The status of the estimate will automatically update in QuickBooks Online. However, when you print the invoice in a PDF format and wish to mail it to your customer, you will need to update the status of the estimate manually. To do this, click Sales from the left-hand side toolbar, then select Estimates. Locate the estimate you wish to update and click Mark Accepted under the Action column. You may also click anywhere on the grade entry line and tap the Edit button to open the estimate screen. In the screenshot, you can see an example estimate with a status of pending. The customer has agreed to proceed with the service, so let's update the estimate status. To do this, simply click on the small drop-down arrow next to Mark Accepted in the far right corner and select the appropriate status from the drop-down list. You can choose from four statuses to help track your outstanding estimates. The first one is pending. An estimate is pending after it's sent to a potential customer until the customer accepts or rejects the estimate or the estimate expires. Accepted. Accepted estimates have been approved by the customer and a signed copy of the estimate has been received. Closed. QuickBooks will change the status of an estimate automatically to closed when the estimate is converted to an invoice. And then finally, rejected. If a client informs you that they aren't accepting your estimate or the expiration date of the estimate expires, then you should change the status of the estimate to rejected. You need to update an estimate status in QuickBooks to promptly convert accepted estimates into invoices. To also ensure that your financial records are accurate, to determine whether you have sufficient manpower and materials available to deliver the job, to generate accurate reports and analyze sales performance. For example, the new version of QuickBooks Advanced allows you to create a project estimate versus an actual report. And only estimates that are accepted or closed can be included in the report. Keep in mind that you can't convert an estimate into an invoice unless it's marked as accepted or closed. For more business resources, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you need more assistance, private QuickBooks online coaching or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.